Tom Fix drove his four-wheel drive Jeep from Anchorage, Alaska to the Chena River State Recreational Park, a distance of 520 miles. Had he averaged 15 miles per hour faster, the trip would have taken 2.4 hours less. Find the average speed that Tom drove. The first step to solving this problem is to understand the problem. We've got two speeds that we're considering, the slower speed and the faster speed. We are considering distance, rate, and time. So we know that the distance in each case is 520 miles. The rate at the slower speed we don't know, so we'll call it r. And the faster rate is 15 miles per hour faster. The time is distance divided by rate. So we have 520 divided by r and 520 divided by r plus 15. The next step in the problem is to translate the information given into an equation. We know that the time at the slower speed is equal to the time of, at the faster speed plus 2.4 hours. So I can translate this into 520 divided by r, and I get this from our table, equals 520 divided by r plus 15 plus 2.4. The final step to solve this problem is to solve the equation that we wrote. We will do that by multiplying both sides of the equation by the common denominator, which is r times r plus 15. So I'll multiply this side times r times r plus 15, and I'll do the same for this side. Now, doing so allows us to cancel some terms. The r's here will divide out, so we'll be left with r plus 15 times 520 on the left-hand side. On the right, if we take r times r plus 15 times the first term, the r plus 15 will cancel, so we'll have 520 times r, and then we take the r times r plus 15 times the 2.4. Simplifying a bit more will give us 520 times r, and then 15 times 520 is 7,800. On the right-hand side, we have 520r. We'll have 2.4r times r, which is 2.4r squared, and then 2.4r times 15 is 36r. I note that I have a squared term in the right-hand side of the equation, so I will set this equation equal to zero and then use the quadratic formula. So I will subtract 520r from both sides and notice that those cancel. If I subtract 7800 from both sides, I'll have 0 equal to 2.4r squared plus 36r minus 7800. Now I can use the quadratic formula where a is equal to 2.4, b is 36, and c is negative 7800. So we'll have r equal to minus b, so negative 36, plus or minus the square root of 36 squared minus 4 times a times c. We'll put that all over 2 times a. Now simplifying this a bit, we'll get negative 36 plus or minus. If we use a calculator to evaluate uh, the expression underneath the radical, we will get 76,176. In the denominator, we should get 4.8. It so happens that the square root of 76,176 is a perfect square. So we get plus or minus 276 divided by 4.8.
Now we can break this up into r equal to negative 36 plus 276 divided by 4.8, or r is equal to negative 36 minus 276 divided by 4.8. Using a calculator will give us r is 50 for the first expression, or r is negative 65 for the second. Since r is a rate, a rate can't be negative, so we'll cross out that option. So the answer to the problem is r is 50 miles per hour.